deaths from heart disease surged last year, 17% higher than normal, with the pandemic partly to blame. It sparked a fresh warning from health experts who say it's not just middle-aged men who are at high risk of heart attack. Busy caring for her young son and sick mum during the pandemic, Jessica started suffering chest pain, blaming stress. Assuming that I was anxious or more in a, having a panic attack when I had this breathlessness and chest pain. After two emergency department visits and exhaustive testing, the 45-year-old was diagnosed with premature coronary artery disease, which is a narrowing of the arteries. And at my age, that's quite worrying. Mortality data analysis by the Actuaries Institute found between 2020 and 2022, there was a clear increase in excess deaths due to heart disease. Last year alone, 10,000 more Australians died from coronary issues than in a typical year. We knew there was going to be a large wave of heart disease coming in. We're seeing it now. Top cardiologist Steve Nichols says fewer medical checkups during the pandemic is one of the many reasons for the disease surge. We missed an opportunity to detect the disease early where we can make a real impact. COVID itself probably has an effect on the heart and the blood vessels. High-profile cardiac fatalities last year, including Shane Warne and politician Kimberly Kitching at age 52, fueled vaccination conspiracy theories. Professor Nichols says inoculation is not to blame. There's no evidence that vaccines have caused the increase here. The increase is, is completely predictable. Heart Research Australia warns the symptoms of heart disease can be sneaky, especially for women, and may include extreme fatigue, soreness in the neck or shoulder, and nausea. Heart disease is actually the leading